U.S. Assistant Secretary of State for South and Central Asia Donald Liu has said that major India-U.S. bilateral defense collaboration is in the works to make sophisticated modern defense equipments in India, and an announcement in this regard will be made in the next few months. He refrained from giving details of the major defense collaboration, but he said that world-class modern and sophisticated defense equipments will be manufactured in India for domestic requirements and will be exported to the world. The advanced short-range air-to-air missile will soon complete captive trials on the Tejas Mark I aircraft, while the live trials will be conducted later this year. MBDA has said that it has partnered with Bharat Dynamics Limited to perform final assembly integration and testing of the 25 km range ASRAM missiles in India, and its integration on both Tejas Mark 1A and Tejas Mark 2 will significantly enhance the combat capabilities, as it will give the ability to lock on after launch, which is an ability to lock on to a target after being launched from the fighter jet. Alpha Defense has reported that India is developing a new coastal anti-submarine rocket system for the Indian Navy that will have a range of 150 kilometers, and it will have the ability to carry multiple rockets enclosed in a pod-based arrangement, and each pod must carry at least four rockets, and each vehicle must have at least 12 rockets. The system must have all solid propulsion, and the speed of the rocket must be maintained at Mach 3, and it must be equipped with in-air and underwater guidance systems, so that it can attack submerged enemy submarines over 360 degrees coverage at design ranges. China has deployed its JY-27A 3D long-range air surveillance and guidance radar system in two strategic locations, one is near Pangong Lake in eastern Ladakh, and the second at the Mayanwali Air Base in Pakistan. It is designed to detect track and classify airborne targets at a range of 500 km, and it is also capable of providing guidance for air defense systems, including surface-to-air missiles and anti-aircraft artillery to intercept and neutralize airborne threats. UK's Chief of Defence Staff Admiral Tony Radkin has said that the United Kingdom has designed an integrated electric propulsion system for its Queen Elizabeth class aircraft carriers, and is proposing a collaborative effort with India to develop a localised version of the technology. The integrated electric propulsion system provides several benefits, including improved efficiency, reduced emissions, increased reliability, improved manoeuvrability and quieter operation. Continuing with its stepped-up participation in air combat exercises with other countries, the Indian Air Force has now dispatched four Su-30 fighter jets and two C-17 Globemaster III aircraft for the Inoco's 2023 multi-nation exercise in Greece, in which the air forces of Greece, US, France, Jordan and Saudi Arabia will take part from 24 April to 4 May. The exercise will be conducted in a realistic combat scenario, involving multiple types of air and surface assets. Omar, drop it.